Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the network diagrams in project management. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and important with respect to project management, especially if you are a student of PMP or you are planning to give exam in near future. So this is a very, very important topic for you. So let's start friend. Uh, friend, what is network diagram? A network diagram is basically a graphical representation of the activities and events of a project. This diagram show you how each activity relates to other in the project, the sequence of activities and the need to perform some tasks before others. Network diagram also facilitate the determination of the impact of early start or late start or finish, uh, provide information about the allocation of resources as well. There are mainly two types of network diagram, uh, one is the precedence diagram uh, diagramming method that is uh, shortly called as PDM. The another one is the arrow diagramming method, uh, short form ADM. So, uh, if we talk about uh, precedence diagramming method PDM, uh, in the precedence diagramming model, uh, boxes represents activities, arrows indicate dependencies, and there are four types of relationship: finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish. Okay, so this is the precedence diagramming method. The next uh, diagramming method is arrow diagramming method ADM. So, in the arrow diagramming method arrows are used to represent activities. Direction of the arrows indicate the relationships and sequence. Only finish to start relationship can be shown. Dummy activity can be used or may be required to allow to show the dependency. Here friend one thing uh, very important that. Uh, with this with reference to PMP exam, there may be questions in the PMP exam based on the network diagramming method model. So, create and work with the diagram because this will definitely come in the exam in which they will give you the activities and they will say you to create a network diagram. So, uh, you must have a hands on experience to create the network diagram. This is very very important for you with reference to PMP exam. Uh, here I just want to show you activity on node example. If you just see a project will start from here. From a starting point activity A and activity C will both in parallel start. Uh, once the activity A will finish, so then the activity B will start. Similarly activity D will start once the C will finish. Here remember that both these activities A and B are in parallel to C and D. Okay? Then uh, once the activity B and activity D will finish, then activity E will start and once the activity E will finish, then the project will finish. Okay, so, this is called as the example of activity on node example. So, uh, friend thank you, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.